The Top 10 Things to Do in Playa del Carmen, Mexico, 2021 As the world returns to normal from the horrors of the 2020 pandemic, many are looking for fun spots to visit both home and abroad. If you're looking for a place where nature meets culture in perfect harmony, Playa del Carmen in Mexico is the place to be. Hello, and welcome to yet another exciting video. In this episode, we will be reviewing some of the exciting things to do in one of Mexico's hottest tourist hotspots. If you're seeking adventure and fun, Playa del Carmen is an ideal option. So sit back, relax, and let us take you on a quick tour of one of Mexico's legendary resort towns. Before we inundate you with some of the top 10 exciting things to do in Playa del Carmen, let us first do a quick review of the town itself. Located along the Yucatan Peninsula, Playa del Carmen is one of Mexico's famous tourist towns. The coastal resort town along the Maya Strip of the Caribbean shoreline is located in the state of Quintana Roa. Quintana Roa is known for its extended shoreline, palm beaches, and coral reefs. Playa del Carmen has a population of 304,942, with amazing parks and beaches that draw in thousands of tourists every year. Along the thoroughfare, strips are blocks of shops, restaurants, resorts, nightclubs, and laid-back dance clubs. Playa del Carmen sits atop an elevated landscape that is 10 meters above sea level with an average humidity rate of 88%. With so much beauty all around, people who come here enjoy all the sights and sounds of the town. And there's much to do here. Just in case you plan to visit Playa del Carmen later in the year, here are 10 things to do. Number 10. Tour the Chichen Itza your visit to Playa del Carmen will be incomplete if you do not tour the Chichen Itza, which is one of the seven wonders of the world. This Mayan ruin is indeed a spectacle to behold. Rated as one of the most important archaeological sites in the country, Chichen Itza is located in the heartland of the jungle. Getting there might be a bit of a challenge for foreigners, but not for the natives. There are regular tours that take visitors on trips to the Chichen Itza, so you may choose to join one of them. You'll have to pay a fee for the trip, though. However, if you prefer to travel on your own, you can rent a car and embark on the two-hour drive. The best time to set out is very early in the morning, before the crowd arrives and the sun comes up. At Chichen Itza, you will come face to face with Mayan culture and you will be blown away by the breathtaking views of this world wonder. Number 9. Dine at La Perla Pixan What is the value of going on tour to a new place if you don't get to enjoy the local cuisine? If you want to enjoy tasty Mexican food, we implore you to try out La Perla Pixan. When you dine here, expect to be treated to tasty cuisine. The reason why we picked this spot is that many of the restaurants in the area are manned by international chefs who may not be skilled at preparing local dishes. However, at La Perla, you get to enjoy the best local cuisine that Playa del Carmen has to offer. Here you will be treated to amazing Mexican music while you binge on tasty meals. Number 8. Visit the exotic Zipuya Beach The beaches at Playa del Carmen are some of the best in Mexico, so you have an abundance of options if you want to go surfing or just swimming in the waves. However, at certain times of the year, many of the easily accessible beaches will be crowded. If you don't like crowded beaches but prefer secluded ones, you might want to try visiting Sepuya Beach. This exotic beach is in a secluded part of Playa del Carmen, so many people will not be so keen to make the trip to this side of town. Sepuya has pristine clear waters and white sand covering the banks. You can sunbathe or relax under the shaded palm trees. Number 7. Enjoy street food at Alux Restaurant Eating at luxurious restaurants is a noteworthy experience, and we admit it. But eating street food at street restaurants is a different ballgame. Why? Because when you eat at such places, you feel the pulse of the people and local culture better. The Alux Restaurant is one of the best street restaurants in Playa del Carmen. The food may be a little pricey for a restaurant of its class, but it's not only the food you're paying for. You're also paying for access to enjoy the hustle and bustle of street life at the center of the town. Alux serves lovely wines sourced from their underground cellars, and the food you buy here is prepared with natural spices and ingredients that will set your mood right and nourish your body. Number 6. Excursion to the Frida Kahlo Museum 
every great historical town deserves a museum that tells a visual story of its past. Playa del Carmen is no different. If you want to learn so much about its history, local culture, and social system, the Frida Kahlo Museum has all the answers. Located in La Quinta, Frida Kahlo opens to the public every day of the week from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. with an entrance fee of $15 per visitor. Here, you'll find replicated artworks that tell of the town's illustrious history right from the Mayan age. Although no original works are present in the museum, the replicated works provide visitors with an idea of life in prehistoric times and how the town evolved from a medieval village to what it is today. Number 5. Sightseeing at the Caverns at Rio Secreto Have you ever swam in a cavern before? If you haven't, we beg you to try the one at Rio Secreto, and we assure you of an unforgettable experience. Swimming in pools is one thing, but to do so inside a cavern is a different experience altogether. This unique spot in Playa del Carmen offers a lot of visual delights. There's so much to see here with underground rivers and springs. In all, there are five stunning caves at Rio Secreto, and viewing them all will take you the whole day if you have the time. Located outside this town, you can get there by road in a few minutes. There are tour managers that take visitors from the town to the spot every day of the week. We recommend that you bring along your swimming gear and make sure your phone is fully charged because there are so many picturesque views you may want to capture to add to your picture portfolio. If you tell your friends when you get back home that you swam in a river underground, they may not believe you, but with a picture, they won't argue when next you call yourself a caveman or a cavewoman. Number 4. Shop at La Quinta Shopping may not be a priority when you go on vacation, but it doesn't hurt to buy a thing or two if you have the cash for it. Shopping is not only about buying stuff, it is also an opportunity to interact with the local population too. While you're at it, you can learn a few words of pleasantries that you can take back home with you. La Quinta's 5th Street is one of the best places to shop because it has an extended line of shops numbering hundreds. At La Quinta, you will find just about anything to buy from artwork, to swimming gear, to handbags, and clothing. There is a caveat though. Vendors may want to inflate the price of their wear since they know you're a foreigner, so you may need to do one of two things. Go along with a local who will do the price haggling on your behalf, or simply get a sample price of items you want to buy before visiting the market on your own. Number 3. Swim and Surf at Punta Esmeralda Still not a fan of crowded beaches? You can go to Punta Esmeralda, which is another option that is as remote and secluded as Sapuya. This beach is the favorite beach of Playa del Carmen citizens who want to escape from the noisy tourists invading their town. The beaches in this location are very remote and peaceful. Getting to Punta Esmeralda is also easy via taxi, or you may walk. It takes between 45 to 60 minutes from Central Playa to get there. The beaches are great for water sports. Number 2. Salsa Dancing at Zenzi If you visit Playa del Carmen, you should try learning a few salsa steps. Salsa dancing is a favorite pastime of the local population, and on weekend nights, the fun spots all over the town are entertained by salsa bands blaring lovely Mexican music. One that we will recommend is Zenzi. This joint is not very crowded, especially on Thursdays and Saturdays when they have salsa nights. The dance floor is designed to evoke the right sensations in visitors. When you walk into Zenzi, the ambiance in the joint will put you in the groove. Its proximity to the beach ensures that cool sea breeze keeps blowing your way, and the drinks and meals sold here are quite affordable. Number 1. Tour Park Fondadores Number one on our list of things to do at Playa del Carmen is a tour of another famous landmark called Parque Fondadores. This site is a landmark spot where tourists and town folk visit to just relax and enjoy the serene environment. Parque Fondadores is indeed a nice place to be, and one of its famous landmarks is a sculpture of two mermaid-like figures rising high to touch each other. Dancers and bands perform here occasionally, and food vendors also sell snacks here too. Parque Fondadores is a fun and quiet place to be if you don't want to engage in any energetic activity for the day. And there you have it, 10 amazing things to do at Playa del Carmen. 
Do you plan to visit anytime soon? What other fun activities would you like to engage in when you visit? Kindly let us know by dropping a comment. Also, like our video and subscribe to our channel so you can get timely updates when we release the next video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.